unconditional support. That's been the United States-Israel policy since 1948, when the regime was created by the West. The U.S. has since exercised its veto power for more than 40 times to block U.N. condemnatory resolutions against Israel. But Donald Trump's ascension to the Oval Office in January 2017 was a blank check for Israel to intensify its crimes against Palestinians with impunity. Uh, ever since Donald Trump came into office, uh, he said he was uh, going to develop the deal of the century that uh, will bring peace between Israel and, and Palestine. Um, but and sent, he put together a group of advisors who were all pro-Israelis, not a single person who was pro-Palestinian or independent in any way. In clear violation of international law, Israel has ever since approved the construction of thousands of settler units in occupied territories. It has demolished more Palestinian homes. And the regime forces have been killing Palestinian protesters in the besieged Gaza Strip over the past couple of months. Back in May on President Trump's orders, the U.S. relocated its embassy in Israel from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem Al-Quds. A much-criticized decision that further emboldened Israel and shattered hopes for a sustainable peace in the Middle East. The Al-Aqsa Mosque located in Jerusalem Al-Quds is the third holiest site for Muslims and Palestinians view the city as the capital of their future state. As part of its unwavering support of Israel, the U.S. has so far given the regime more than $130 billion in aid. The huge sum includes a record of $38 billion package of military aid approved in 2016 under former U.S. President Barack Obama. But when it comes to helping Palestinians, every penny counts. In January, the U.S. made drastic cuts to its financial contribution to the U.N. Agency for Palestinian Refugees, UNRWA. Washington has now cancelled more than $200 million in aid for the Palestinians in the besieged Gaza Strip and occupied West Bank. The U.S. State Department said the decision was made at the direction of Trump. It also blamed the activities of Palestinian movement Hamas in Gaza for cancelling the funding. It's aid to the Palestinians by 200 million pounds for development projects particularly. Uh, the US is sending the clearest signal that it will <clears throat> blackmail the Palestinians into accepting this deal of the century that, that uh, Donald Trump has been uh, working on. The decision provoked reaction from head of the Palestinian general delegation to the U.S. Hussam Zomlot, who criticized the policies of the Trump administration. He called the move, quote, another confirmation of abandoning the two-state solution and fully embracing the Israeli prime minister's anti-peace agenda. In a statement, the Palestinian Liberation Organization called the move, quote, the use of cheap blackmail as a political tool. The U.S. is sending a clear message to Palestinian officials. They must go along with whatever America and Israel dictates, or the oppressed people of Palestine will suffer the consequences.